You're welcome into this great service. It is a great day the Lord has made. Jehovah God is ready, is out to reach out to you, all our viewers, and bless you in a special way. May Jehovah himself strengthen you, anoint you, and grace you as we hear his word in Jesus' name. Today's service is a spectacular service. It is a service of great signs and wonder. Come, let us worship God. Let us sing to his praise and glory as we sing from Abu Sikesh, number 369, and the choir will lead us. Judges chapter 6 from verse 11 to 16. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Then the angel of the Lord came and sat down under the ark in Aphra that belonged to Joaz the Abirite, where his son Gideon was threshing wheat in a wine press to keep it from the midnight. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Pardon me, my Lord, Gideon replied, but if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are all the wonders that our ancestors told us about when they said, Did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and given us into the hands of Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, Go in the strength you have, and save Israel out of Midnight's hand. I am not sending you. Pardon me, my Lord, Gideon replied. But how can I save Israel? My clan is weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my family. The Lord answered, I will be with you and you would strike down all the Midianites, leaving none alive. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless unto us the reading of his holy word, 
and unto his name be praise and glory now and forevermore. Amen. You are welcome into this great service. This is the service Jehovah has designed to reach out to you. The service that will awaken the giant that is in you. There are great potentials, great deposits. God has made, God has put inside you. By the reason of this service, all our viewers, as you listen attentively, God is going to cause that which he has put in you to rise up and to change your generation. Let us pray. Father, I bless your name for who you are. Thank you for sparing the life of my listeners. Thank you for delivering us from the raging storm. Thank you, Father, for your daily provisions. Thank you for your faithfulness in keeping your own. Lord, we thank you because you will never fail. All things will fail, but you will not fail. Lord, do you be all that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. If you mark iniquity, who will stand? Your eyes are pure. Lord, your eyes are so holy that it cannot behold iniquity. It's pure that it cannot behold sin. Father, in penitence of our heart, we've come to you. That you cleanse us and make us whole. Lord, circumcise our heart, our, our ears, to hear you well in Jesus' name. May this service, Lord, be a service that will herald us with divine visitation. Lord, send your Holy Spirit to help your people. Send your Holy Spirit to change life. Send your Holy Spirit to touch men, touch women. Lord, send your Spirit, Lord, to roll away bodies and to wipe away tears. Thank you, Father. Lord, as many that came with need, Lord, in this service, meet them at the point of their needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you once more. The topic for today is grace to unveil hidden potentials. Now the anchor text is taken from Judges chapter 6, verses 11 and 12. The angel of the Lord came and sat down under the oak in opera that belonged to Joash the Abyssalite, where his son Gideon was threshing wheat in a wine press to keep it from the Midianite. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Now, this message will bring our consciousness to know that apart from what you are seeing in your life today, there's something extra. And I pray by the message of God, that extra will be dug out by the Spirit of the living God. The grace to unveil hidden potentials is that kind of grace that catapult a man from obscurity to become a celebrity. This kind of grace we are talking about is the grace that takes you beyond your normal self to dig out on top deposit of God in your life. The grace that unveils hidden potentials is that kind of grace that moves you from your comfort zone to a level that will be that would have been unfortunable or unalternable. The level that would have been unalternable, but for God's intervention. The grace that unveils hidden potentials is the kind of grace that when it comes to your life, it gives you encounter. And that kind of encounter will cause you to have experience of galloping and tremendous promotion that defies human explanation. No wonder it is the work of grace. Therefore, when it happens, when it comes to you, no man supposed to boast of it because it is from God. There's a point that I must establish in this message. And that point is that no man is created by God as a tabla rasa. You were not created empty. When God designed you and made you, he deposited something inside you. And apart from who you are, there are still the best that is to come. Somebody, your best is yet to be manifested in the name of Jesus Christ. You were created for a purpose. Until God's purpose is made manifest, you cannot make positive impacts on the sand of time. And our major task in, in this message is to arouse that hidden potentials and awaken your consciousness to discover 
another chapter of life. There is another chapter. I want you to prepare in this season. God is taking you to a new chapter. A chapter have, you've not known about. It will be unfolded by grace. And that grace is amazing grace. Somebody shout hallelujah. This very chapter is God's coded book. I call this new chapter that will be unfolded God's coded book. And it has been written. Only what you need is to obtain grace to decode what is written concerning you. Something has been written by God. You need grace to unfold what is written concerning you. Like when you read the book of Exodus chapter 30 verse 1 to 13, you will observe a man who was keeping flock, a shepherd in the wilderness, in the desert. He was comfortable with what he was doing. But little did he know that God has saddled him with the mandate of being the leader that will bring out Israel from the hand of terrible hands of the Egyptians and lead them to his own promised land. Moses did not understand that. He did not know until grace, he had an encounter with grace. And grace opened his eyes to understand his new responsibility. Somebody, don't be comfortable where you are. The grace that will come to you is opening your eyes and taking you to a new level, a new phase of your life. Maybe you have seen some great things, some blessings. This new phase is coming with unusual blessings. When God will launch you out, your world will be surprised. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now, people of God, I want you to understand that it is possible for you to identify these hidden potentials. May you will ask me, how do I identify them? One, by knowing and identifying what gratifies your life whenever you find yourself doing it. The areas of your passion. Knowing it is what will make you to understand where these hidden potentials are. Number two, knowing the areas you keenly observe your world need to do more. As a person, there's something that is really bothering your heart. That in this area that your world needs change. At that point, your, your heart is going in that direction. Your heart is moving you. God is pushing you. There's something you need to do there. There are something that is expected of you. There's a deposit that's put in you that is driving you toward that direction. And when you listen to the intuition of your heart and begin to go with divine direction, something great will be unfolded. You will now see your new chapter. Somebody, I declare by prophecy, your new chapter has come in the name of Jesus. Number three, find out the areas of your strength. You take them to find out the areas of your strengths. Number four, you discover through divine direction as you pray and fast. That is how to know these hidden potentials. And number five, noting comments from people who take time to observe. There are people who observe you. And as they observe you, they will begin to make comments. When you listen to this comment, they are not flattering you. But this comment is just channeling you, it's just giving you direction of who you are. This is the definition of who you are. And when you now work on that and look into it, begin to take it seriously. I'm telling you something new will come, something new will be unfolded about you. Now, number six, by decoding the coded word through God's messenger or prophets, as you are, something has been written in God's book. And you cannot understand it until you a messenger comes into your life. Or until God opens your eyes to know it. As it were in the life of Jesus Christ. When you read the book of Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 to 4. You will understand what was written concerning Jesus Christ. And immediately Jesus came in Luke chapter 4 verse 18 to 19. He opened the scripture and he stepped into what was written concerning him. Somebody under the sound of my voice, hear me and hear me well today. By the power of the Holy Spirit, God will open your eyes to see what is written concerning you in His own divine book. And once you see it, you will surprise your world in the name of Jesus Christ. Once you see it, you will no longer be a laggard. You will no longer go behind in life. Once you see it, you will be on top. You will not be at the bottom. In Jesus' name. 
everything one can become has already been written in God's coded book. It has been written. All you need is the help of the Holy Spirit or God's messenger to know what is written concerning you. When Gideon was threshing wheat at the white press, an angel came. Gideon thought he was just a farmer. He didn't know that he was a warrior. He was a general, an army general. He was a champion. He didn't know that there was something that is still in him. And he thought that it was all about that all we was doing, dressing that sweet was all he can do. Until the angel greeted him. And the greeting was a message from heaven. Somebody, your angel is coming today. Your angel is releasing a message into your life. The message the angel is releasing, releasing into your life is catapulting you. It's taking you to a higher ground. It's taking you to a higher height. The angel of God, I can hear this message coming. The angel is speaking to you. Child of God, though you are retired, God said you are not tired. There's still another phase that is taking you to another level. That you are retired. Yes, you were and you were being employed and you sound meritoriously. Do you know you today you can be an employer of labor? You can be an employer of labor. There is another phase. Hallelujah. Now I want us to understand what happened to Gideon. Gideon did not even believe in that new chapter or new face. He did not understand it and didn't believe it. He was still doubting the angel. But the angel gave him assurance and said, The Lord is with you. Child of God, hear me. Hear me wherever you are hearing my voice. All over the earth, all over the world, wherever you are hearing me. God is with you. Go in the might of God. What has been stopping others will not stop you. Go in the might of God. You will make a difference in your time. Go in the might of God. You will make a great mark in your time. Your generation will celebrate you. Your generation will celebrate you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are not a non-entity, you are an entity. This is the assurance God is giving you. How do I know it? If God be with you, if God be for us, nothing can work against you. Hear me and hear me according to Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. It says that I can do all things. Do you know you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you? The strength of God is in you. It's not you that is going to do the wonder, but the capacity of God will carry you to the level where you become a wonder to your generation. Somebody shout hallelujah. You will be a wonder to your generation. If you believe that, shout amen. And Gideon, when he heard this assurance, the captain that gave him new hope, God is with you. I'm telling you, if God is with you, no kingdom, no power can break you down. He moved with that word. Somebody hear me today. God's word is moving you. There's a compelling force from God's word that is moving you and is taking you higher. You are on a higher ground now. Can you shout, I am on a higher ground? You are on a higher ground. That is where you are. And you can never go down. No matter the opposition, no matter Sambalat, no matter the activities of Tobias, no matter the activities of Alabas, you cannot go down. God is sending you for a mission. Yeah, this is a mission that will launch you out to become popular and famous in your time. You are somebody. Grace has made you somebody. Even when you were nobody, grace decided to qualify you. Understand me. How you will enter into the high office, into the high position, you may be asking, I don't know anybody. Should I launch into politics? Should I indulge into politics? I don't know anybody. Grace, grace will make your name popular. Grace will introduce you. Grace will send men and women to back you. If God is backing you, the earth will also back you. Nature will also back you. That thing you want to do, don't be afraid. Grace is there for you. That thing you have heard from your heart, from the intuition, from the instinct of your heart. God is backing you. You will recognize success in it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to point out a few things. You have sat and have retired thinking you are old. Age is not a barrier. Let me tell you. Abraham was 75 years old when he discovered his divine purpose. Don't say I am retired. Don't say age is no longer on my side. Age is not a barrier. Age is not a barrier. If Abraham can discover himself 
at the age of 75 years, it's not you are not older than Abraham. Even if you were, the grave that worked for Abraham can work for you. God, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. The way he did it for Abraham, he will do it for you. Just believe him and listen to that divine direction. There is something God is saying. Follow it. God's grace will often facilitate the great unveiling by sending his angel to decode and explain to you what is written in the coded book. And in Jesus is your personal Lord and Savior, seated at the right hand of the Father. He is the one that is holding the book. He holds the scroll and the seal. Somebody hear me today. What is written concerning you in the book will be opened today. In the name of Jesus Christ. So age is not a barrier. Don't say that I am old and therefore I cannot, I cannot make impact again. I cannot move to another face again. I cannot. There's nothing that need to be unfolded concerning me again. There's nothing hidden again concerning me. Hear me and hear me well. Nature, everything, creations, they are all waiting for the manifestation of somebody like you. You will manifest. You will manifest power. You will manifest success. You will manifest greatness in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I want you to understand. Do you know that a man called Nelson Mandela, it was at his own age that his destiny was unfolded to South Africa. Little did he know that he would become the president one day of South Africa. And he really made it. Why not believe in God and believe in yourself? Don't doubt yourself the way Gideon doubted himself. God's angel will decode what is written. If it is difficult for you, Go to God in prayer. His angel will always talk to you. His spirit will always talk to you. The angel of his presence will always talk to you. That is why they are there for you. The whole world will be surprised at the announcement they will hear concerning you. It will just be grace in action. Hear me? The announcement is anchored by grace in action. Grace is about to announce you. In the name of Jesus Christ, God allows grace to take up a hand to unfolding these hidden potentials. Because of this following reason, number one, that there will be no place for boasting. So that when you will get to that position, you will need not boast. Because it is grace that has taken you to that level. Number two, your talent will not be misused. When this grace works with you, when Christ is in you, it, it is the hope of glory. Your grace, the, the talent, the deposit in you will not be wasted. It will help you. Number three, Destinies attached to your talent will also not be wasted. Are you aware? If God has deposited a hidden strength in you, it will also attach destinies. Some of us, the destinies we are carrying, you are carrying thousands of destinies attached to you. Your failure is the failure of those thousands of destinies. You will not be a failure. You will not fail. In Jesus' name we pray. God's ability and power will make up for your inability. Limitations will be dealt with and broken forever. As this grace works in you, there are limitations that would have been on your way. This grace, the grace of God has the capacity to break any limitation. He can break any limitation. You may be thinking of the least. Of course, when God wants to lift you, your background is inconsequential. He does not consider your background. He does not. Only mingle with his spirits. You will see the transformation, the transforming power of God. And this transforming power of God, once it's registered in you, it takes you to places. Now, this, there's something important. When God deposits this potential in you, you must be careful of others. You must be very, very careful of others. So that others will not rise to hinder, to inhibit what God has prepared concerning you. Now, I want to decree by the authority in the name of Jesus, as I join faith with the faith of my Father and connect to the grace from the altar of heaven, I declare any altar that wants to hinder you, wherever that altar is, I scatter that altar in the name of Jesus. No altar can stop you. 
They didn't stop Gideon, they will not stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Gideon was a mighty man of valor. Yet he was busy threshing wheat. He didn't know. That which you do not know, the Spirit of God will open your eyes and your intellect to know what you didn't know. Though retired, there is still a lot more you can discover from your future. You are, you've retired yourself, but there's still something more. Two, you have touched money and enjoyed prosperity. There is another level waiting for your manifestation. I used to say this, the enemy of success is success. There is another level. If only you can risk and venture into it, go and pack it up. And you begin to enjoy what is called divine and greater blessings of God. It's another level. And I want you to peel into that and begin to enjoy this another level. You were there, you were employed, and you made it to mark. But I want you to begin to think outside the box. You were employed yesterday, and you are aware you can be an employer of labor. That you are employed, there's no way you can make a serious mark in life. But now you have opportunity. It's, there are ideas coming. God has given you ideas. You can become an employer of labor and rule your world. Somebody under the sound of my voice, you will rule your world. I say you will rule your world in the name of Jesus Christ. Number four, you are politicians. You made money and had fame. That's good. But let me say something that will shock you. You can invest and enjoy sustainable riches. You can invest and enjoy sustainable riches. You now begin to enjoy riches without stress. Look forward to see areas you can invest, what you can do. And as you're doing it to help people, to help life, to, to salvage life, as you're doing it to, to put smiles on people's face, God will be taking you to a higher life, higher, greater life. A life that is life of abundance. You have finished reading a course. That's another point. You finish reading a course in the university. But the instinct in you is telling you and driving your passion to something else. Find time to listen to your intuition. Know what your intuition is telling you. Understand when God speaks to you. God is the yes, you read a particular course, but there's something else God is telling you. Think outside the box. God will help you. When you understand it and move toward that direction, heaven will crowd your effort with success. Moses was a shepherd, just as I said, and he didn't know that he was a leader. He didn't know he was a leader, not just, not just a leader. But a man that can stand the power of any nation, that can terrorize Egypt, that was the world power. There's something inside you. And Gideon never believed in himself. I believe in myself. Believe in yourself. Go help you. You will make mark in your time. Go make you. He will take you higher. Go make you. He will not allow you to go down. You will not be disgraced. The grace you are carrying cannot disgrace you. But the grace is taking you to a higher level in life. In the name of Jesus Christ. It might be that because of the happenings in the time, in the society, because of the happenings in the nation, it has made you to begin to conclude on yourself. Don't conclude on yourself. There is another phase. You are carrying something. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. What you are carrying is an answer. To the question of your generation it is an answer to the question that have been asked in your family you are carrying something don't stop where you are look for more aspire for something higher heaven will visit you heaven will touch you heaven will anoint your vision and your vision will be actualized 
In the name of Jesus Christ, if Gideon was called a mighty man, a man that thought he was nobody, and he was called a mighty man, I want to announce to you, you are a mighty man. You are a mighty woman. You are a mighty man. You are the timber and the caliber of our society. You are somebody that is highly valued by heaven. And you will really be a blessing to your generation. The God of Abraham, who turned the life of Abraham, will turn your life. What you are about to discover will amaze you. What you are about to engage in, as you hear this message, will amaze you where it will take you to. People of God, receive Jesus Christ. That is how this grace can move for you. Let him be your personal Lord and your Savior. Because if you don't know him, only those who know him that will do great exploits. If you don't know him, you may, you may not have the power to do exploits. You may not have the power to take over your world. You may not have the power to take over Nigeria. Hear me? Sons and daughters of God. You are hearing me from different nations. As you hear me, you will take over those nations. In the name of Jesus Christ. That place you are walking, you will take over. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is grace in you that will make a difference of your person. In the name of Jesus Christ. May Jehovah God bless his word. May God cause his word to bear fruit in you. May God establish you by his word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Mighty God. Thank you for your word. Your word has been released. It's not my word. Father, thank you for the grace. The grace you give it to us that will unveil hidden potentials. Father, I pray for my listeners and all my viewers. Whatever deposit you made inside them, you've deposited in them that have been hidden, that have been limited, that have been blanketed by the enemy. Today, I command them to be uncovered, to be unveiled in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, all my viewers, I pray for them. Whatever thing they want to venture as a vision, as a business, Father, whatever thing it might be, may you, O oh Lord, crown it with sources. Lord, may the power of grace cause it to bear fruit, to be result oriented. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for people who are sick. The sick you are healed. All manner of sickness and diseases. I command them to leave your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all my viewers all over the world. I pray for nations of the world. As we nations are battling to handle and to arrest this pandemic. The raging pandemic. God is helping nations to conquer coronavirus. And all the challenges that will come up in any form. The world God has made, God is bringing stability to the world again. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for nations. I pray for Nigeria. Nigeria, we will not be confused. God is giving us direction and we will not miss our way. God will not allow Nigeria to crash. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for people who are hopeless. Jesus is your hope. He's giving you new hope. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that dead hope be resuscitated by the grace in Christ Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray for as many who are students. They have graduated, but they have no employment. Lord, by your mercy and your grace, help them to secure employment. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as many that have the vision to venture into politics, to over Lord, it is your will that the righteous will rise into power. May you help the world to succeed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless your name, Father. Those working in offices, nobody will sit on their promotion. When your time of promotion comes, you shall be promoted. In the name of Jesus, people who were thinking, looking down on you in that office, they will be amazed what God will use you to do in that office. In Jesus' name, God is opening doors for you in that office. You will be the mouthpiece of your office. In the name of Jesus Christ, heaven is even causing your boss to begin to have likeness and love for you. And because of that, they will favor you. Favor is coming your way. Favor is coming your way. That interview you participated, that interview you have undertaken, go will make it to be a successful interview. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. I pray for all my viewers. They will not die on time they dead. You will live to fulfill your destiny. Whatever thing that is still hidden in you, heaven will not allow you to die without fulfilling your 
destiny. Without, without making use of all your potentials, you must be empty before you die. You will not die with your potentials. In Jesus' name we pray. Allah's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For that is thy kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. If today's message has blessed you, I want you to cue in into this message. You can reach out to us. You have the account details. You will see it on the screen. You can reach out by giving through the account detail you pay in, into the bank. Or if you are closer to Abuja, you can bring that offering to Presbyterian Church of Nigeria First Abuja Parish, opposite AP Plaza. Thank you, Lord, for all the people that will identify with the church. As they give this offering, Lord, may they be lifted in their generation. Lord, this offering they are giving, Lord, may it cause their cause to be enlarged. Everything they will begin to touch or lay their hands, Lord, prosper them. In the name of Jesus Christ, the grace that unfold hidden potentials, may that grace work for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We take the service to a close as we sing from Arrow CH 697. My hope is built on nothing less. And the choir will lead us as we sing. that is able to keep you unto him that is able to save you unto him that is able to cause his grace to work wonders for you and unveil the hidden potentials in your life 
unto him that is able to take you from the floor, from the ground, and place you at the mountain top. To him alone, I commit you into his hand. May the peace of God that surpasses human understanding and his love keep guard and watch over your life. May the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you and the people of God all over the earth, your family members, wherever they are, now and forevermore.